do this. All right, back to Silver Dollar Beach. So obviously, by what I named it, we got a silver dollar here last year. I also got a bunch of other silver coins, skeleton key, not a lot of jewelry. I think I got one silver ring, but, and I gritted it out, I think twice. So there shouldn't be much left here. I uh, been having so much fun with my mini coil. I guess I'm just basically back here just gonna try to see if uh, changing up my coil, cause there is some iron in here. So a little coil, I might be able to slip in between some of the iron. And then of course, you know, with all these rocks on the beach, you kind of can get a little bit different angle with your mini coil. But anyway, it should help us grab some things we missed. My uh, dog's peeing over here. <laughs> but anyways, he's out for the day with me cause this is a, uh, the kind of beach nobody ever comes to anymore and it's the bear time of year all the males are up got a hibernation and uh, yes i have had them come right onto the beach with me while i was detecting and this is a bear zone right here so anyways i got my headphones on i'll be watching my back so anyways let's see what we can get all right i didn't make it very far i got my first signal already and it's a nickel. Let's see what year. Yeah, 64. So, and that's what I've kind of found with this beach. I think uh, most of the coins kind of stop usually in about the 70s. And of course, they go back to the early 1900s. So, anyways, maybe we'll find a relic or an old coin. That's what we're kind of shooting for here. Man, that's a, just a too good to be true sound. I've taken a couple scoops out, but I don't know what it is yet. I'll show you when I get it out of there. Yeah, it looks like a big piece of aluminum of some kind. This one's showing some promise. We got a dime. What year is that? Oh, boy, that is a new one. I don't usually find them that new here, 2005. I can't believe how many things I've already picked up. This is crazy. I had, I don't know if I showed you my other quarter I got. Anyways, I probably got like six coins. I've only been here like five, 10 minutes. Nickel. And you know, they say you lose a lot of depth with the mini coil. Yeah, that's that's a seven inch nickel right there. I'm not real sure. So I should have showed you, I pulled a fishing lure out of this hole. It wasn't sounding very good. Now I got me a greenie here. Been here a while. Yeah. Unfortunately. I think I see the memorial on the back. Well, that's definitely a little older piece of lead. Like even the eyelet's lead. It's a cool design. Off to the lead bucket for recycling. All right, I haven't turned you guys on in a while. I have got quite a bit of clad. I'm surprised how much I've gotten. Guess you always are when you go back. I think you hit it really good. But I'd like to think the mini coil's helping. But anyways, finally, there's a Weedy, 1945. So hopefully we can get some silver tonight or something. Ah, you probably can't see it, but he's on some birds. You already got me some sort of a weird relic here. What do you guys think it is? You got nothing. Okay, so I was just digging under the rock in this water, and this thing popped out. I'm like, oh, a quarter. And I don't know what that is. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Let me clean this up. <laughs> 
All right, I don't know if I should show this on a family metal detecting show, but it says, heads I win. And the back side, literally, says, tails you lose. Okay, so I'm just kinda working this little crick that feeds into here. I got a booming back here. It was actually going a little higher than that at first. I thought it was going to be like a silver half dollar. But look at that big old chunky silver ring. Heck yeah. Man. See, just stick with it, guys. I thought this place was all kinds of dug out. See if I can see what that says in there. Might be something fancy. Okay, well it says Solvar. I can't see the other bar, but I'm pretty sure it says 925. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that's silver. Awesome. I'm at a new swimming hole today. I'm using my big coil because I know there's not a lot of sounds because I clear out the swimming hole every year. I'm just hoping there's a new drop or something. First signal though, dime. I'm not gonna show you a ton of clad, but here's a quarter. Oh yeah, I think I see something silver in this hole. What do we got here? Oh, that's a beauty. Heck yeah. You know what, let me clean it up. I'll give you guys a better look. Yep, I saw the mark in there. It says 925. And that was just down in those rocks. I mean, I love swimming holes with rocks in them because if that ring hits those rocks, it's gone. And then so few metal detectorists want to dig in rocks. And I gotta tell you, it's really not that bad. There's treasure everywhere. Boom. Let's see what else we can get. All right, guys, I get a ton of questions on why the water is so low where I'm hunting. And it's because out west, a lot of the lakes are really reservoirs. So they have a dam on them. And then what they'll do, especially going into winter, is they'll let a bunch of the water out. Or the water got let out during irrigation. And they do that so that the bank doesn't erode from the weather you know the big waves and everything during the winter and then people can do dock repair and stuff so that's a pretty amazing advantage we have out west and this is one of my favorite swimming holes um got a lot of gold rings and things out of here as you can see um there's still a big thing of snow through here and I definitely didn't get it all done tonight. Um, I only had a couple hours. We, uh, my boy and I just got done playing airsoft and kind of got done early. So I thought, well, maybe I'll see if I can get some treasure. So I'm not going to bore you with all the clad and everything I got in the last two days. But um, these are both, were both heavily hunted sites. And I was still able to pull some treasure out of them. So, you know, I guess... What they say is kind of true. It's <laughs> never totally uh, hunted out. Plus, I have the benefit of new swimmers every year. So, anyways, hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, consider giving me a subscription, maybe a like and a comment. It helps out the channel. And do a follow so that uh, you get uh, notified when I put another video out. But thanks for watching, guys.